everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be our January Amazon haul. So the majority of what we purchased for January from Amazon it was actually for our homeschool revamp or redo or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to be sharing photos of that at the end, but make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already, because in the very near future, I'm going to be doing a homeschool tour of our room, like a homeschool room tour. And I will also be writing a blog post and linking to everything, not just what we purchased from Amazon. So if you see anything in like the next few videos or on social media, just know that it is coming very, very soon. We're still waiting for a few things to arrive in the mail and then that will be coming to my channel and my blog. So it's coming. I promise. Stick with me. All right. But what we purchased from Amazon, the first thing I purchased from Amazon was a over the seat organizer um, for the car. So we actually just recently got a new car and our second row is captain or bucket seats. And we've always done a um, car organizer that sits in the middle for car schooling since, well, as long as I can remember. In fact, you can probably see almost two years worth of car schooling videos right here if you want to see kind of what we used to do for car schooling. But that is not going to work because it would have to sit in the floor now and Emily can't reach that. So I found an over the seat organizer that has a clear pocket for a tablet and it has really, really big pockets, like pockets that are big enough for her clipboard and things like that to fit in it. So that is what we are going to try. I will let you guys know soon if it works and it holds everything that I like um, our organizers to hold for car schooling. For myself, I picked up Mornings with Jesus for 2021. It's daily encouragement for your soul. What I really liked about them is there's one for each day and then like a Bible verse, but it's short and sweet. And while I really, really love reading the Bible and devotions, I normally don't have a ton of time in the morning for myself. So I really liked that these were short and sweet and something I could definitely fit in every day. Now for the homeschool books. First, we have the National Geographic Celebrate Valentine's Day. Then we have the Mardi Gras and Carnival book, which in case you are new here, these books will actually be um, for holiday fun around the world, which is a curriculum that I wrote that is expanding for an entire year. So Valentine's Day and Carnival are now included and those will be for that because we'll be celebrating that in then the coming month, obviously. We also picked up Her Story. So we keep books like this in our bedtime basket and we have officially now read through all of the goodnight stories for Rebel Girls, which are like hands down some of our favorites, but this looked really good too. And I liked that it was, you know, beautiful images, but still short and sweet, which is something that I like for history um, and for bedtime basket. I like that it's historical and we're learning, but I also don't want it to be so long, you know, that it's the only thing we can get through during our bedtime basket. Just kind of want to give her a little taste and see what she likes of, you know, who she wants to learn more about. So books like this are amazing. And this one has 50 women and girls who shook up the world in it. And with Black History Month coming up, I picked up um, a Child's Introduction to African American History. It also includes a removable timeline as well. But it has tons of information. Beautiful images. And it's the experiences, people, and events that shaped our country. And then the last book that I have is the brand new Timelines from Black History by DK. We have the Timelines of Everything and there's another timeline one we have. So I already knew that we were going to love this one even before it arrived. I actually had pre-ordered it and it has just tons and tons of events in it. And then I also picked up a book series for Emily. She is mildly obsessed with dinosaurs currently. So I picked up the Dinosaur Cove book series. There are 20 books in the series. She has already taken number one and run with it. There are about, 
um, 75 to 80 pages. They remind me of Magic Treehouse as far as difficulty. There are still pictures in them. Um, from what I understand, these two boys find a magical dinosaur cove um, and they go and in each book they have some sort of dinosaur encounter or adventure or problem. Like I said, she just started the first one, but so far she really seems to be enjoying it. And because of Emily's mild obsession with dinosaurs, I've been picking up a few things uh, kind of leaning towards the fact that I'll probably be putting a dinosaur unit together for her as long as the interest lasts. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I have picked up from Amazon to kind of put back for that unit. If we do the unit, don't worry, I will come back and show you everything that we've done with full details. But the things I have picked up so far are this 4D model anatomy kit for the T-Rex as well as the 4D model anatomy kit for the Triceratops. And now, because I know somebody is going to ask, these have mixed review on Amazon, but we have had over five of them. We've had the horse, the cat, the giraffe, the dolphin, and one more. And so far, I have absolutely no complaints of them. Emily's been able to do them um, since she was seven by herself, and they have, I mean, everything's correct. It all fits together. Is it super duper easy? Could a young, young child do it, like four or five? Absolutely not. But they have tons of learning in them, and I think they're worth it. If you can find them for like 30 or less. Sometimes they're ridiculously expensive, but if you wait around, like both of these were, I think 25 when I purchased them. So if you can find them for 30 or less, it's definitely worth that in my opinion. I also grabbed this National Geographic Dinosaur Dig Kit. Um, it comes with 12 dino dig bricks and 12 dinosaur figures and 12 excavating tools. So it's actually probably more for a classroom, but I liked that it had different dinosaurs and a learning guide in it. So that as she was digging the different ones out, she could see which dinosaurs, you know, were which kind. But you can see here, oh, if I don't drop it, that it would be enough for like a birthday party or a homeschool co-op or a large family. And then because I felt like fossils went really well with dinosaurs, I also grabbed the Mega Fossil Dig Kit that has 15 real fossils. And now for the games. So when we purchased the games from Home Science Tools for our haul recently, we got some of the genius games that were science-based. And Kevin teaches science, and he absolutely loved the concepts that were covered in those science games. So we went ahead and picked up a few more science-based games that we thought would be really great for learning and playing together. So the first one we picked up is Stellar. And it's a two-player game, but let me just tell you guys, these cards are gorgeous. Like, I can't wait to play because they just look so beautiful. And it looks like most of them have facts on the bottom as well. And then Virulence, which is an infectious card game. You get to take on the role of the virus competing to infect the host cell and replicate your viral components. And Cytosis, a cell biology game. And then last, we picked up Planet because it looked like a really fun way to learn more about ecosystems and habitats and biomes. And then in the process of redoing the homeschool room, we've also kind of had to change some things in our office. Um, like we've been rearranging them there and I needed something for the wall in my office, but I didn't just want like, you know, just something random. I wanted something that was actually useful. So I picked out this national parks scratch map. So you can you use something to scratch off all the little trees as you either learn about the parks or go to the parks. And I just thought it was really cool because it looks really good in there, but also is very practical. And because we needed to get to the map to scratch it off instead of framing it, we got the um, poster holders. These are magnetic, like pieces of wood. And so you could just stick it to the bottom and stick it to the top, and then it makes it super easy to hang. 
And then, like I said, a lot of our purchases this month were for the homeschool room. So some of the things that we purchased from Amazon for this room first were the rug, which was my statement piece. It was kind of like the thing that I fell in love with and then knew everything else that was going to happen based off of that. And the beanbag cover, which actually houses all of Emily's stuffed animals. So it's dual purpose. It's comfy to sit on in the book area. And it's a place for all of her stuffed animals to be maintained. And the um, new maps on the wall. So we have the world map and the United States map. They're a little more muted than what we had in here before. So they look better in here. Now tell me something that you purchased from Amazon in January, because I absolutely love hearing from you guys. And I love getting ideas for other things that I should probably buy. Mm -hmm.